So next I'm going to go into vouchers. Um, vouchers are um, a cool system, as I was saying before, that, um, that you can get coupon codes that are, are valid for specific periods of time. Um, so if I go into manage and vouchers, um, this network doesn't have any vouchers on it right now, um, but what I can do is create new vouchers. And if you're only creating one voucher at a time, you can create a, a voucher code. You can specify what you want it to be. Um, so I could say that this is, um, since the network name is Scandals, I'm going to call it um, Scan Scandals, um, if I can spell, Scandals1234. And you can give a comment to it. Uh, that comment just uh, it shows up here in this column here, so you can keep track of what vouchers. So you can say that this is um, this is Brian's voucher. And uh, keep in mind that this voucher code has to be unique um, across all of contracts. Um, so um, commonly used words um, like voucher uh, might not work. Um, so you might need to adjust based on what other voucher codes are out there. And um, then you down here, you specify um, the duration. Um, so you can say anywhere from one hour to uh, all the way up to uh, one year. So that is, um, I think, 8,760. And then how many devices you want that to be valid for. Um, so if you, you can make that anywhere from one to nine devices. Um, and that the counter for the duration starts counting when the first device connects. And once that first device connects, um, it will start counting down that voucher. And if a, the, uh, if a third device, um, if we have it set up for three devices, we have one, one and two devices uh, connect within that time period, but the third device uh, uh, tries to connect after the vouchers um, has already expired, then they're not going to be able to get on. Um, additionally, it will throw them an error if they try to connect. Um, if they try to connect um, at more devices than the voucher is valid for. And then here, this is where you set your your download and upload bandwidth limits. And then the purge after. Um, is that is how long it will take that voucher to be deleted from cloud tracks um, if it's not used so if it hasn't been used um, then after 90 days um, it will automatically be deleted um, now uh, there's also an option up here if for the maximum number of devices if you choose zero that is that creates what we call an unlimited voucher and an unlimited voucher means that it can have an unlimited number of devices on it. Um, and so that is, that is good if you, want to, um, if you want to have a password on the network, but you don't want it to be necessarily a WPA password. Um, that way they see the splash page and um, they have a, every person uses that same, um, that same code. Um, you may have seen that in hotels where they they have that, um, they have the splash page and then they have like, um, uh, it says like Weston uh, May 2017. And then the come June, they make a new one, that's June 2017. You can also make multiple vouchers um, at a time. So if you, um, if you wanna create, a, create them in bulk, and then just have them um, have them lying around. Um, you can print them out, cut them out, um, and they will. Um, in that way, you can hand them out as needed. So, for instance, like in a in a coffee shop, um, they they buy their latte, um, and they get uh, they they get past a code um, that's valid for two hours. And so they can they can sit in the coffee shop for two hours and get access for for that amount of time. And then after that two hours, um, they need to go back and get a new voucher, um, which might require them to uh, purchase another drink um, or, or something like that. You can also specify different paper types. Um, so uh, you can let it be a, a letter, an A4, or a three-inch receipt. 
Um, so if, um, if you have a, a receipt printer um, connected to the computer, um, you can print those out on demand. And so if I wanted to create these, um, these three or 10 uh, vouchers that are valid for uh, three devices, and I'm going to print it on the three inch paper. Um, just click create, and then they've showed up here. And then you can click print, and then that print will open up a PDF of um, of this. And then I, I'll show you um, how to how to customize these in just a second. Um, so I have this old, really old Open Mesh logo on there, and um, then you can see that it's valid for uh, 8,760 hours with the login code that was randomly generated by CloudTrax. All right, so if you want to, um, if you want to configure um, what your vouchers look like, you under configure and vouchers. And then you can change this, uh, the text for duration is valid, login code. Uh, you can change that to whatever you want. Um, you can say if you want to show the border or show the image. Um, the image that you upload here um, can be changed. So uh, previously I had up uploaded the Open Mesh logo. If I want to change, change it to something different, uh, let's update it to the new Open Mesh logo. I just uh, click that. And I say save changes. And then once I go and um, and uh, print vouchers again, then it will uh, it'll have that new logo on there. Uh, so this this next section here, management um, of share vouchers, you can if this is turned on, what that means that you can um, you can share vouchers among all of the other networks in your account. Uh, so this network happens to uh, it is has lots of different things on here. It's uh, my personal account, so it has lots of different test networks as well as a home network, um, and then the scandals network. And so um, if I if I were sharing vouchers, a voucher that I created on the scandals network would also be able to be used in the splash page on um, on the blah 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 uh, one two three network. Um, and also on Android Test or Ascoli, or wherever you want to put it. We also have a lobby assistant. Um, so the lobby assistant allows you to um, to log into CloudTrax um, to be able to only manage vouchers. So if you have a lobby password in there, um, you would take the network name and you would go to CloudTrax.com, log in uh, with the network name. So with this one, it would be Scandals PDX. And then we would have the password, which would be the, the lobby assistant password. And um, so if I wanted to give it a password there, click Save Changes. I log out of CloudTrax, Scandals PDX. And now uh, the interface has changed so that I can only manage vouchers here. So if I want to uh, delete, renew, reset, or edit any of these vouchers, I can do that, or I can create new vouchers here. So if I wanted to create a new voucher, um, I can leave that, I'll just say to leave it as the, that. And now I have this new voucher here. I can go ahead and print it. And now we can see that it was printed on letter-sized paper, and it has that new Open Mesh logo on there.